February 9th, in a temple. Garden. I mean, straight away I'm looking at the, um, what I assume is blood. Right there on, on this monument thing. Because, like, clearly from a certain angle that reads Maya, which is troubling. Triple dot. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling, forget about that. What's that strange writing on that stone lantern? That's what it is, a stone lantern. Where? <laughs> what are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? A fun karma will always show up. Wherever there is a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But... Alright, straight, straight off. What the heck is that? Oh, you spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It says... Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all of our questions now, Scruffy. Without exception. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. There are a couple of torches here. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. Looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recently we're we talking about? As recent as the night of the murder. Maya was training here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think these things were lit up at the time, I guess. Like, what is that? That's clearly related to the... Psych lock, but how? Similar design. Oh, no. No, it's just the sort of, um... I was gonna say, isn't that the symbol of, um... Like, the head of the crane channeling technique and all that, so it's like... Huh. I thought it was a psych lock. Or, like, it was gonna be the key for the psych lock or something like that. Uh, there's a charm or something poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it, too. Apparently, it belonged to the victim. The Miss Elise doing him? Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like... This little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. Mm-hmm. Crane Master's talisman added to the court record. So she really was clearly over here then. A little lantern, a little statue. It is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh! What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's, uh, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if this has any impact on the case. Um, well... I, uh... I doused my face earlier with the water in this. I was getting kind of sleepy. Yeah. Next time you're sleepy, you need only come to me. Got it? Hmm. Keep an eye on that, though. Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. It's almost perfectly rectangle. Couldn't have happened naturally. Yes, it appears as though someone has carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Uh, no, it wasn't me, sir. It's only like that when my men and I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh, yeah, there's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone, got it? Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out at the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed. I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. Is that it? That's it. Whoever cleared the snow away must have had a reason. But I can't even begin to imagine what the reason could be. I can. It's like clearly like, like there's blood splotches all the way up this. It's like clearly there was blood on the snow. But it's that sort of thing like, okay, they cleared up the snow because of the blood. Why would they not clear up the statue? 
Why would they not clear up the statue? Hmm. Well, we can't investigate the broom. I'm just thinking back to something that was said. It's like, like you, you'd see on this big white surface, right? All the red splotches. You'd think you'd see it on there. Unless you had some kind of, like, impediment, and maybe you couldn't see things properly. Maybe you couldn't see things properly. What was he doing here, and... So what was he doing here, and why did he clean it up? Hmm. Hmm. This is the thing, that's the only thing that makes sense to me right now, it's like someone cleared up the blood, it was clearly on the snow. But they missed this because they didn't see it. They, they, they didn't take it in. Otherwise, they, otherwise they'd otherwise wipe it. Unless it's actually something else. And that's a red herring. And it's that case of... Someone wrote the stuff here with blood. Made it look like like, like the murder happened here or something like that. Writ, written... I want to say writ. Writ this message here with blood. But they knew there'd be no blood around here, as a result, so it would look dodgy. Be like, why is there no blood here? So they cleaned it up, and it's just cleaned up fresh snow, and there's no blood snow, is the best way of putting it. To try and hi hide the fact the murder didn't take place here. Again, it's that case of, like, what what this game has done to me. It's like, I, I have, like, two lines of logic with everything. Which is interesting. Because, like, both of what, like, my ideas around this make sense based on the evidence we've got. It's either Godot was here and he didn't see this on this, um, stone lantern. He didn't see it and cleared up the blood that was in the snow. Or, it's someone wrote the message and cleared up the snow because there wouldn't be any blood in the snow and that would be suspicious. So they make it look like it got cleaned up. It, ooh. Both of those could work. It just I need more information still. The investigation. So how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of the scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh... Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern. And the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me. You know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to go over them. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. Guess I'd better look into them myself. I just did. Maya. Um, how about Maya? Oh, uh, d um, d did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. We'll have to wait, since she is the only one who can... Open the door to the sacred cavern. No, oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down. Felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. Bloody writing. Maya. So these letters are written in blood. Yeah. What's worse, it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Duenim's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but... Looking that way, pal. Hmm, most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? Leon? You know what? That was... Really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. The results of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder... 
The stone lantern was upside down. <clears throat> anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Elise Duodim wrote these letters herself, in her own blood. You must be joking. That's impossible. And the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Duodim's murder. At least that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? True crime scene. I'm, I, I've got, like, little inklings of what Godot was saying in my head. This whole I, idea of, like, we've pursued something in a wrong way, which is going to end up with the Fae family in trouble. Which leads me to believe, like, in some regard, like, if we go back here, it's like, how does he know that? So, so, so what I'm thinking, like, is something happened here. Like, th this is based on the evidence here and what Godot has said previously to us recently. It's the idea of, like, we've somehow endangered the Fey family. Specifically Maya, and it's clearly to do with this. But how does he know that? How does he know that? Like, clearly, clearly he was here. And he tried to cover up the fact the murder happened here? What are you up to, Godot? Because clearly he's trying then to protect Maya. But who's he trying to protect Maya from? Us? Because clearly we're going to pursue this, but it's like... Hmm... <clears throat> Again, there's, there's something there. Godot was clearly here. That's where I'm going with this. It's like, like, you just put those little pieces together. It's like, Godot was clearly here, but it's like, why and what is going on? It just opens up more questions. That's the issue. I like this case, because again, there's just this... It just, it's like, you can figure out a few answers, and then it opens like 50 questions. It's like, um... True crime scene. So Miss Duenum was killed here. However you want to look at it. That's what people are saying now. Then, what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... What was it? That wasn't the scene of the crime. What did she see? See, this is the case. Okay, it's like... If, right. If the murder happened here, it was... Godot was covering it up. Who, who committed the murder there? The only thing I can think of is, like, Maya channeling Dahlia or something like that. Which is going to be an issue, because then it's again, like, how do you prove that... It was Dahlia? Like, that would be an issue in itself, and again, that might be what Godot is warning us about. He may be saying, like, yeah, we can't prove the channeling technique is scientifically accurate, that it exists, so now they're going to prosecute Maya. Be like, ah. That's an issue, yes. But assuming it was Dahlia, and it was um, Dahlia in Maya that killed Elise, and Godot started to cover that up to try and save Maya, it was Godot that then sent the body across Dusky Bridge, but then, then the issue comes like, well, the bridge was on fire. Unless he had his phone. Unless, unless Godot had his phone. And then called up the payphone and got in contact with, like, say, Iris or something like that. Saying, like, hey, I'm sending something across. I need your help. <laughs> like, you need to stage this. And it's like, you need me to what? I need you to stage this. Now. Sending the body. Like, what? Just, hmm. And then maybe that's... Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what Bikini saw was the staged murder. Hmm. Just thinking this falling light out of a building, like, that's gonna be when she was sent across and hit the cliffside. Like, she, she wouldn't be able to stop herself or anything like that. It would be bang, you hit the side. So you get bruising that would look like a fall. I think we're closer to the answer here, but it's still that case of like, Yay, we figured it out! It's gonna be Dahlia as Maya! 
Ah. Godot was right. But I, I, again, even though it's like I feel like that makes sense, there's still going to be more to it. Because <laughs> Ace Attorney. What do you think, Miss Von Karma? Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? Wait a sec. The bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusty Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Uh, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. This really wasn't the scene of the crime. And I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Alright, let's head over and try and find... Edgeworth, because it was said that we need to speak to him. But where? February 9th, has a Kura Temple, Main Gate. It seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright. Iris. I'm really glad to see you. Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We've got to hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, Wright. Wait, Edgeworth. I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, Wright. I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... My affair is in a rather... Delicate position. What do you mean by delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's Maya, Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. <laughs> this is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't the air of the things to demand your attention? She's right. What'd she say? Thanks uh, for reminding me. Okay, let's... Speak to Bikini. February 9th has a Kura Temple Main Hall. I was half expecting that it to be Larry. <laughs> Sister Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my! Hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> my. From the sound of that sigh, I guess she is pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome, crimson-clad prince. Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. It's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suit doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Is it? Uh... Blair. Oh, yes, you, you did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. Sniffle, you two are the only ones who've said that to me. 
Do not shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. You have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break out those psychlocks of hers. All right, then, well, that's clearly obvious what we're meant to do. Take that! Do, 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 do. Elise Duenim. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. Now I'm convinced that Miss Elise Duenim had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... Mr. Calise was an author, just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes. But I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Duenim's true identity. Oh, 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 yeah. Like I was saying, it's like, because it's, that's the symbol of the head of the Korean technique. So, if it's the head, that makes it misty, doesn't it? Yeah. Miss Duenim had this charm with her at all times. Good. Where did you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. Then, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, isn't it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about his who Miss Duenim really was. This talisman is a tal 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 talisman. Yes. And one of you uh, item unequivocally proved Miss Duenim's true identity. Hmm. <clears throat> One thing I like, by the way, it's always obvious if I'm invested and interested in something, by the way. It's like, it's worth pointing out, like, theories jumping through my head, my mind is bouncing everywhere. If I stumble over words, because my brain is off somewhere else doing something else rather than reading. So if I keep stumbling over the words during this, <laughs> it's because I'm excited and my brain is going crazy trying to figure everything out. Being like, wait, but that goes with that and that goes with that, but if that meant that, then this and that, I did. Blah. That's why I have to stop so often in this one. To just vent. Just so I can get back on track with what I'm doing. Because <laughs> this is a very interesting case. I like this one. I don't know why this one's especially interesting. There's just something about it that's... Intriguing. I guess. Okay, so... We basically, I'm thinking, want to find something that matches that symbol that we've spoken about before. Because I know we've had it before. I was say, it's like, I know I've seen it before, and I'm sure it was that. Take that. The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But. But this scroll shows the Master of Korean channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of that honourable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. <laughs> this crest is reserved for the Master of Korean. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fei, told me. What? You mean that acolyte is Misty Fei's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fei's sole successor. Misty, Misty. Wait, that was it? I was expecting to go further and deeper on that, you know. Oh, fair enough. Elise doing him. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Korean talisman? It's the symbol of the master of Korean. The bearer must carry it with them at all times until their death. Until their death? So Lee Stunin was really Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the master of the Korean channeling technique. 
truth comes out at last. Looks like I'm making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Yeah. Why? It's oddly convenient it's at the time we arrived, so... Hmm. Again, there's, there's so many little tangential mysteries that are going to add to everything here that's just like... There's got to be a reason you were here at the same time as us. Like, sure, you arrived before, but... How did you know we turn up? It's got to be significant. Because something happened that called her out of hiding. What happened? Well... Earthquake. What's happening? It can't be. Earthquake! Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, oh my goodness! The inner temple! This kind of tremor might... The inner temple? The sacred cavern in the training hall. It might very well cave in. What? Maya! Oh, go, go, go. Screw what Edgeworth said. It... It seems to have passed. I can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go! What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. What else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I am with you. Thank you. Yeah, she is good when she needs to be, isn't she? Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Mom. Let's go. Yeah, we have to go ourselves, alright then. We've got to hurry to the inner temple and... Right! What are you doing here? How could I have... How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo! Hey, why am I the one getting whipped? She's gone. No. The defendant. Iris, she's... Gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So it was just now. During the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. Huh. Who has a fear of earthquakes? I don't know. Everyone? Because you should be scared of them? I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and... I stupidly passed out. That incident... haunts you to this day, doesn't it? It's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let that happen. Right in the inner temple area is a dead end. Though she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now. And search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth? Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross... No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something. When we were with her, she said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. And you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right? Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the inner halls. In it, in the halls, the training halls, sacred cavern now. All right, let's go. February knife in a temple, training hall. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in, but what we found was something none of us could have ever expected. What the? How can there be... 
Open more locks. What is the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Ooh, to be continued. 